Hi, hello guys. Um, so first things first about uh, uh, let me update the Electra trade. Uh, so, so this looks like it is at a point where <clears throat> there is a huge supply or at least has uh, in the past met supply, right? So if we see that uh, this, this zone of uh, this, this has been a huge supply zone. Um, so now Electra is, uh, is nicely poised there. Uh, but if you see the volumes, the volumes is what gives me immense, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 confidence on this trade is because of volumes. Because when you see, uh, it's the volume pattern is very, really, uh, really good. Uh, I wouldn't say perfect, but it's uh, close to perfect in the sense that this is the initial offloading um, some volumes, but still uh, uh, way less than the up moves. And then again, you see on this uh, down move, there were the volumes uh, got less. This down move really less. This down move again, like almost non-existent. It, it was almost as if that no one wanted to sell, you know, in this move. And from then onwards, uh, there has been a there has been a slight um, uptrend, and uh, today it reached uh, this area. Now, now if you see this this kind of a uh, pattern wherein I've drawn this channel uh, then what it could do is tomorrow there will be one more up move hit the top of the channel uh, and then uh, uh, and then again you know uh, come back and test this zone and then eventually either uh, break out of this which would be uh, BOB bullish on bullish breakout or in fact could even come here uh, I mean these things we will never know you know uh, 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 until that whatever the, the, the day comes so tomorrow tomorrow I'm actually hoping that it will be another bullish day uh, or just like this after this huge uh, 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 there are there were three inside bars could be a couple of inside bar and then actually the breakout comes now that is the that is the that is what we anticipate uh, will happen uh, and if that happens and uh, that is good for us but Second thing could also happen, right? And that is, so this could be now a big contraction. Um, that contraction is almost about uh, 20 some percent, 22 percent. And then there could be a, a contraction which is about uh, 40 to 50 percent of that. So what 50 percent of 22 percent would be 11 percent, right? Um, so 11 percent would be somewhere here. And just like this, this sort of a shakeout candle that could come, and then eventually, uh, uh, hopefully, with this contraction, then the supply, uh, if the, at all there is, uh, will uh, will uh, will exhaust, and then then eventually it will move up. But all in all, right now it looks looks good to me, uh, you know, from from the angle, at least from uh, this this kind of a trend line. Uh, looks good hmm? uh, so again these are very subjective you know yeah, the kind of the, the trend line drawing and all is very subjective uh, so that's that uh, a couple of names uh, which I want to discuss and they look good is uh, So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to you know go through the high tide flag uh, high tide flag names and uh, and discuss some of the names which are looking good you know so right So Dhani and Dhani is uh, similar to uh, Dhani is actually in a downtrend in a higher time frame, but 
but but these these using this is how you know reversals uh, happen so if you see this on a weekly time frame um, this is a huge huge uh, spike uh, which means that uh, people are now taking big money is taking interest in here and uh, and there is again uh, this pullback is in very low volumes and and if a low is made here 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 wherever but above this low then we will know that uh, there is a higher low formation you know and and the stock might be uh, ready uh, getting ready so so this is this is something which you can uh, put on your watch list um, and you know uh, maybe another low here and then uh, and then the when it breaks out of the structure we can get in so bvcl bvcl is uh, another name uh, for some of you it might be uh, some of these names i'm discussing might be very uh, illiquid so do your uh, due diligence um, uh, properly before uh, before getting in uh, because it might be not suitable for uh, the, the type of liquidity you want uh, so here it's again very nice right so this is the this is the flag pole and this is the mast and there is vcp uh, uh, happening in the mast so amazing like the first one is minus 22 second one is almost 50 percent of the first one which is what it should be uh, anything uh, 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 from 45% to 60% is what we like and then there's a the third contraction right uh, also volumes look uh, good which means that uh, in this pullback very less volumes people are not uh, willing to sell and a great place to uh, trade this would be just a GTT here and just forget about it you know uh, so something to keep in mind mm. Yeah, again, if, if you see the monstrosity scanner, the volume profile also shows that this this is the region which is uh, wherein there is a large interest, and so this would be a, a, a this is generally now a region of resistance, and if this breaks out on the on the upside, then then it would be like a sort of a blue sky territory. Hmm? Another interesting name I uh, really like is Vinyl India. See, uh, something happened, huge interest. And after that, there has been very slow um, selling. Uh, again, this, this uh, slow selling uh, is uh, devoid of volumes. And uh, I can see now that there might be you know, generally what happens uh, when you are in a, a DTC downtrending channel, it, it hits the bottom of the channel, right? But this time it will not, or probably we already had have that low. And so any breakout of this structure is uh, a good, good time to enter. Hmm? Uh, if you see, it's also very near to the super trend uh, or 10 3, which means that if let's say, if you trade the breakout here uh, above 485 or even trade the breakout above today's candle or day before yesterday's candle uh, then effectively your risk is uh, only six percent right and uh, the the sort of reward which you can expect from this move is basically subtend the uh, size of the uh, flag from the breakout point so 85 percent right so this is the this is the sort of move uh, obviously this will not be like a one or two day thing it will take a couple of weeks to reach there or probably one or two weeks but you get my point that uh, uh, that uh, this sort of move is possible you know now uh, newland lab is setting well exactly like uh, how we thought it will pro it it will either break out break out uh, and test the previous high or break out and maybe uh, hit here and uh, try to form another low this low might can undercut the previous low or may, may form a, a higher low both of the cases fine uh, they happen but looking really good you know and um, the triple b scanner also caught it yesterday uh, meaning that uh, 
the the base is now very constructive and almost ready to fire um, so if you plan to you know uh, enter this uh, the the super trend uh, it gives you a little higher uh, uh, risk uh, but again um, on the portfolio level make sure that the risk is not more than 0.5 to 1 percent uh, you can also you know uh, put your stop loss just below the the scandal which will give you a little less uh, this one but the, but the thing with the newland lab is uh, you know when the when the up move comes the up moves generally are around 10 to 15 percent so 20 15 you know so even if you have 8 percent risk uh, 15 percent would give you to twice on a single day if if that sort of move comes right so uh, not all the stocks are uh, are, uh, are similar uh, some some move slowly they will provide you smaller uh, risk in terms of smaller SL uh, while things like uh, new land will 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 give you higher SL and a higher move is something I really like is Patel engineering this one is again setting up um, had a move of about 100% so this is actually a high tide flag uh, which you can even see in weekly so in weekly if you see this uh, now it's basing you see the these two uh, bars which were uh, red bars and you see the volumes I mean no one no one wants to sell right um, and you can also see uh, some form of VCP coming in so this was minus 18 percent uh, I am hoping something like uh, minus 8 to minus 9% so let's say tomorrow there is a candle which looks like a shakeout uh, and that would be ready but in any case uh, if you if you don't want to miss this uh, maybe that move comes on the downside and tomorrow itself it starts, starts to uh, break out so uh, above 27 uh, is uh, above 27 if you put a GTT then you'll comfortably get in uh, right looks good you know the, just see the volume profile like nobody nobody wants to sell uh, so yeah this is this is good uh, KCL uh, started its up move today so if you see if you can you can you could draw a line like this and say that okay it's very close to uh, breaking out the downtrending line and I will uh, enter above uh, this day uh, you you would have made an entry and you can see that the the relative strength is also getting uh, back now so this was better than the day before and now uh, again you know so uh, again you after looking at so many of these kind of names what you can already predict not predict but anticipate is that you know it, it is going to make a big base and it's something like this uh, and probably another round of uh, this one or uh, even without that it'll just go on right but in any case you can you can then uh, have a have a idea that at least 10 to 17 percent move is going to come from here right I really love RVNL because uh, apparently earnings were not great but who cares uh, the guys who are holding this don't care in fact today uh, was a buying day so this is poised in my opinion uh, really poised right uh, the the I'm hoping that this this will now the relative strength will now come back and look something like this you know it's it's started to start go up and uh, again the thing is it might not uh, directly uh, make a move like this where's my mover yeah make a move like this but um, but it could be you know the, the 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 start of the this this base first base first contraction and in which case uh, you can expect like a like a move of uh, double digit moves right so I like that Asian Asian hotel north and this this is this is what a good base looks like right you see after this up move again uh, these names uh, will not be liquid for many people uh, so but but 
I'm just discussing it, you know, to give you an idea about what a good base looks like. No volumes. Volumes, nobody is selling. You know, everyone, everyone is waiting for that big money to come and again, you know, start that uptrend. Pre-cam. Okay, pre-cam is, uh, this was a great, uh, great entry, breakout entry on this day. Got a move and then now has been, uh, has been pulling back and pulling back to the previous uh, breakout zone. So you can uh, now think of this as a retest, you know, retest of this uh, breakout. And uh, I'm, looks like, I, I mean, so now what you can expect is that now this, this pullback will be complete and then uh, the stock will start its up move. Uh, do not be entering, uh, because right now we don't have any evidence that, that that pullback is finished, you know, and that it will reverse. So better to wait for a little bit of confirmation, that confirmation will come when a bullish candle will appear, uh, when, uh, when tomorrow, if that happens, the RS line will be stronger than the previous one. And at that time, you can, you know, make an entry. If you want to want to uh, get in and if you don't have time, you can, uh, you can have uh, 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 GTT above uh, some levels like this, you know, um, in which case you will still be having a decent about, decent stop loss of 7-8%. Um, Repro is another one which I really like. Uh, see, see volumes coming in. Uh, last two days volumes uh, were lesser than today's volumes. Although although it uh, closed below the open, it looks almost ready to do like uh, uh, VCP like this, right? And so uh, what you can do is again because these are anticipation kind of entries, you are not sure that uh, the the you're not hundred percent sure that the up move is the, there. So uh, a a good technique to you know enter this would be to split your capital in it, let's say half. So if you had 100 rupees to add in repro, you might take a 50% uh, entry here and the rest you can take when the actual base breakout happens over, over 620, right? So then what happens is once uh, the price already reaches 620 from 560, if your entry is already here, you already have a great cushion. And whenever that sort of, uh, what, what, what Electra did today, right? So people, People who entered Electra would have their hearts in their mouths because you don't know what Electra is going to do, is going to squat or not. So that's why having a small position in 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 a in a reversal place like this, when a base is setting up, uh, could be a could be a good thing to do. I mean, this is all things which you can incorporate in your setup or your uh, system. You know. Uh, next one is Jay Balaji. Jay Balaji, Balaji is also something uh, um, I wouldn't say like like too much, but again, it, this this is the structure which is going to play almost for sure. And if that is the case, then as a swing trader for a small swing, uh, let's say you you have 0.5 percent of your total capital in risk. And then for that, you get three times the risk. So 1.5% uh, you make, right? So if, for example, if you then make a, a yo, not this. For example, if you make a entry with a GTT order above this, you can easily, uh, uh, you can, you can either use like a 6% stop loss and uh, hopefully make uh, you know twice of this at least uh, and then and then when this happens you can probably uh, sell some here and then sell 50 percent here and then again add back when it's happening or if you're lucky then that 50 percent will uh, move out of this ascending channel and uh, make you a better return uh, the point of showing all this is to show that these are places where risk rewards are higher you know uh, many people do what they do is uh, they they see this as this breakout so if once the once the uh, stock m moves out of this and they will say oh breakout agya breakout agya and what will happen they will place a stop loss below the breakout candle and their stop loss will be hit 
uh, next up again uh, what uh, most people do or most or at least some people I know do is then they will they will say oh now if this is taken out then we will enter because that will be the breakout and again if when it pulls back uh, their stop loss uh, gets uh, they get shocked right so um, yeah the because we know that these kind of uh, this kind of patterns form every day on on chart so so this is where we use our anticipation to get better uh, our software is something i like uh, i mean i don't know what most most of the companies what they do I don't know but just from you know looking at you see 15% was the uh, pullback uh, T second pullback is around half you know 50% so th this is this is a really nice um, uh, nice uh, contraction this this kind of price action is very uh, very good and we will now expect a, a breakout above this uh, trend line Uh, Re Regency Ceramics uh, again here as well uh, you have two T's the first T is about 27% um, the second T is happening right now minus 11% and you can choose to make an entry when this this sort of a, uh, trend line is being uh, taken out on the upside you see uh, volumes decreasing decreasing when this is happening spike uh, on the up move again I mean the the volume dry, dry up is not that great great uh, but again nothing to say that it will not work hmm. Naga Dhunseri Naga Dhunseri also looks like a nice uh, reversal now from this base these are these are mostly um, mostly uh, swing setups right now but again once this sort of breakout comes from the base uh, uh, and, and price breaks out of 2206 of the top of the base this could actually give uh, the moves could actually be more you know something like this 50 60 percent so that is why I like to trade high tech flags because uh, it bodes well for swing traders as well as uh, positional traders right uh, okay um, really really uh, ismo 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 was already a high trade flag when uh, this move came uh, i i for some period of time because i was developing the triple b i did not uh, give much attention to the my high, high trade flag names but again uh, an entry here would have been a perfect entry you know when this 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 uh, high was uh, getting taken out uh, this would have been a great place uh, to enter so this is what we mean by buy before breakouts uh, we don't need to wait uh, when this uh, actual pivot is getting taken out you know we we can anticipate and make entries when this dead day is occurring um, uh, when this sort of breakout happening because now we have a triple B confirmation we know that when this thing appears on the chart it's a good thing um, so so that's uh, the the high tech flag names mm. I also want to quickly go through a couple of names yeah uh, I already talked about RVNL or did I um, yeah if not then you know this is poised to do something like this this is yeah I think I talked about this um, I talked about Electra Signity I really hope that this is the second bottom this is the first now there's the second one I mean uh, I would have loved the volume to be a little less uh, this this still could tell you that maybe maybe the selling is not over in the counter uh, on hindsight uh, the entry was not great uh, because of these two candles already uh, were also very highly low, high high in volume so but I've entered now so uh, hopefully this will not hurt me much um, Arti surfactant should should uh, make a reversal soon and when if that happens uh, you can you can enter above this trend line um circa yeah dhampur bio also uh, again if you if you just imagine this as the base of this kind of a, a t uh, 
it looked like today it was breaking out but uh, it did not but i'm very hopeful that uh, this will be taken out uh, very soon mm. this guy also setting up again uh, the this this was my anticipation of the second t uh, yeah hopefully hopefully this will also start firing um psu bank bs okay so this one uh, is what i was trying to say is that you see that after this up move it came back and reversed from the 10 to sorry 10 3 uh, 10 2 was here it did not 10 3 it, uh, 10 3 it has found a uh, very huge support one touch two touch three touch and it's trying to now break out volume seems to be coming now uh, and if it breaks out then this sort of a channel looks very po very much possible um, an 11% kind of a move in uh, PSU uh, nifty is PSU bank nifty is, is possible okay and also you see that uh, this uh, this place where it found support is also the place where there was a lot of battle uh, fought means like a lot of uh, exchange happened right so these are the regions which uh, act as uh, support and resistance uh, uh, for resistance you, so today's the, the the stock which we discussed yesterday mm, I forgot the name NSCL India yeah see how why did it uh, uh, get out get get back from here because this 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 was very clearly an overhead supply we knew that this was the place where a lot of exchange had happened last so uh, today it could not but again uh, nothing to say that tomorrow it will not be taken out and the stock will fly uh, okay mm, PSU bank adore RVNL yeah, that's all I had to discuss today. Um, watch the video in, uh, I, I should have said this before, but uh, just uh, watch it in 1.5x. Okay, see you soon. Bye.